when I was finishing graduate school, I asked myself the question, what's the most interesting thing in the world? Because I knew that I was going to go to a postdoctoral fellowship and I was going to probably spend the rest of my life working on whatever I worked on as a postdoctoral fellow. So I decided I should work on the most interesting thing in the world. And to me, the most interesting thing in the world was then and still is now, how does memory work? For 25 years, David Sweat has been researching ways of improving and understanding age-related memory dysfunction. As the endowed chair of the Evelyn F. McKnight Brain Institute at UAB and chairman of the Department of Neurobiology, Dr. Sweat is internationally recognized as an expert in learning and memory and what goes wrong in the brain. Our recent studies um, over the past five years or so uh, have come up with a new insight into a fundamental molecular mechanism that contributes to long-term memory formation. Sweat's lab discovered that part of the molecular process for triggering long-term memory is a change in the chemical and three-dimensional structure of DNA. This discovery that regulation of chromatin structure, which is the biochemical term for this, uh, is involved in long-term memory formation gave us the opportunity to think about how we might manipulate that system to actually improve memory formation. So we had gone from a basic science discovery to a way that we could manipulate the process to actually boost up memory. This week, Dr. Sweat's research will be featured on the PBS program, NOVA. It looks at how bench-to-bedside research may someday help Alzheimer's patients, a personal scientific goal that David Sweat is determined to reach.